another happy day for me at least and hopefully for everyone else with uh, COVID going on and stuff like that right introductions out of the way let's start now first off you know my channel you know my well kind of passion for benchmarking and trying different things all the time and stuff like that and you probably remember my old card which is a uh, well a gigabyte 980 2014 was the time when it actually saw the daylight and it's been with me for well i would say at least like a couple to be honest about a year or so decent card a lot of benchmarks done and obviously a lot of limitations because it only has four gigabytes of memory which is not enough also it's not really the fastest card out there it used to be the king of the cards and well it died well people still have it but you can buy them for cheapo you know that I updated or upgraded or well both at the same time for my 1080 Ti which obviously is well miles ahead of 980 yeah all the benchmarks are done already but it's not really fair to compare these two cards you can't compare 980 and 1080 Ti I mean right we need something in the middle <laughs> How about we close the gap with a 980 Ti? Yes, I finally got my hands on a 980 Ti and to be completely fair, I'm very very pleased about it for the simple reason that only it nicely goes in between these cards there's only, I would say, couple videos where people are testing the actual performance between a 980 and 980 Ti Why? Because no one actually wants to give away 980 Ti's Why? Hmm, great question, but I have an answer. 980, 4 gigabytes of video memory. 980 Ti, 6 gigabytes of video memory. How much video memory the new games use? More than 4. So, this card kind of goes out of the window. Actually, no, it comes back. Because I want to see if the 980 Ti, first of all, will work with new titles unacceptable levels on 1080p gaming the 1080 goes away much more fair comparison here and i think we are in for the treat also since it's 2021 we have cyberpunk and i want to see how cyberpunk goes with the four gigs an amped up version with six faster cores and everything in between so not only I will have my trustworthy crab to help me with this, his apprentice will help as well. So let's go. So here we are, 980 slotted in. And well, just for the comparison's sake, I actually updated the drivers. Uh, thermal compound's been actually replaced as well, just to get the best performance out. We have the MSI afterburning running up. And here's the Odyssey. Obviously, this is, well, kind of like the Ubisoft title, and we have two of them in stock. We have the Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and we have, well, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Uh, the reason why I'm taking these two titles, first of all, they're open world, and they do have built-in benchmark tools. We're gonna run everything on Ultra, because if we, well, if we want to see the actual benefit of upgrading from 980 to 980 Ti, if you actually have your hands on, we need to see if there's any real-world difference when it comes to maxing stuff out. Uh, obviously tweaking settings it's possible and well I mean a lot of people do it but again let's just shoot for the stars see where we end up so if we go for options just to double check everything set up is on very high and that's basically a preset I'm going to be running on as you can see in terms of video memory we are almost hitting the, the ceiling here uh, I mean it's not exactly only the video memory that counts it also well kind of comes for the how fast the card is and 980 Ti is a bit faster than 980 uh, it's roughly about 30% more so the price difference would be if back at the times 980 was selling for about 400 and the 980 Ti was selling for about if I'm not mistaken 680 it was kind of like the upper end card like close to $700 so yeah that was a uh, quite substantial well kind of like money bucket so to say anyway uh enough chit chat let's just do the benchmark and see how we fare
So here we have our score. So basically, I'm gonna just uh, mark down the final score, which is 53. Uh, it's kind of like the average frames we're getting on a benchmark run. It's very interesting for the simple reason the recommended hardware for Assassin's Creed Odyssey is actually 970 or any other AMD counterparts. So I would expect 980 to push above 60. Well, let's see if that happens. So let's just roll for 980 Ti then, shall we? So here we are with 980 Ti and it's time to put it through the paces again. Let's go for the options as you can see here it is 980 Ti and we have well 6 gigs of uh, video memory available which is actually exactly what we need. Everything is still on ultra high maxed out as much as we can so I think we need to just get on with it. The last score for 980 was 53 average frame so let's see if this will actually fare better now. So, we have in frames 48. Don't ask me why and how. We were actually using, well, we're still using like kind of 4.6 gigs of video memory. So, I'm not entirely sure what happened here. This is very interesting. Maximum frames we have 103, minimum 32. And for GPS milliseconds, we are kind of averaging on 21, which is pretty decent, so... Hmm... I'm kind of willing to run this test one more time. Very disappointing. You pay more money, you get literally <laughs> 5 frames less on a benchmark. This is something unheard of. Uh, GPU usage is actually up on 97%, so... This is a bit odd. Again, just for comparison's sake, uh, multiple tests should eliminate the uh, error margin, so... Let's just hit the synthetic benchmark again and see if we get a different score. So I'm just making a note here, so we ended up on 48. Who knows, maybe we'll end up on like 100 now. Also, this is a Ubisoft title, so take this benchmark result with a, I would say, a ship of salt. This this game is not uh, really forgiving, even for new hardware. And 
it sometimes even kicks the butt of 1080 Ti, so there's clearly something going on here. Clearly, but let's take a look and just see how it goes. And we lost another frame. Now it's uh, instead of 48, it's actually 47. Well, it could be. I, I kind of have a suspicion why. Uh, first of all, this is kind of like a reference card. It's uh, made by Palit. Uh, it's not. Well, it does have an Nvidia chip on it, but uh, looking at the core, like the the boost clock itself, like 1.3, I do believe the 980 had higher boost clock because it was an OC version from Gigabyte. And I will review this once I compile the videos, but uh, I'm betting my money on that. I'm actually making a note about uh, this current core clock just now. What we saw, and I'll get back to that on the last conclusion drawing video. So, let's go on. So here we are with Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Uh, we already tried this game with 980 Ti. Uh, I mean, 980. <laughs> I'm uh, still too, too happy about 980 Ti being here. And I do believe, well, we're going to get exactly the same results on the previous benchmark. And uh, this time I actually remembered that, first off, we need to set everything on ultimate. As you can see, we are running actually 4. Point, well, 4.53 as available and we need 6.4. So that's not going to be well. I do believe that's going to tank our frame rate, but... Uh, what can we do? Let's shoot for the stars. So let's just run the benchmark and... Uh, See how it goes.
So frame rate is well average is 47 everything on ultimate uh, I'm not even gonna well I will actually note down the frame score as well you know just to kind of figure it out so it's gonna be just 8k uh, little frames don't really matter in my opinion that much but uh, yeah I want to see how this runs on TI absolutely this is some interesting result uh, so yeah well let's roll it so here we are in Ghost Recon Breakpoint and we do have a target to beat so we need at least averaging frames above 47 and at least uh, over or well more than 8k in points so let's double check all the options we have for now everything should be maxed out and as you can see we are actually still a bit short when it comes to GPU memory so we only have like uh, 6.97, well, 6 gigs and 97 megs available. And we need 6.4. So, yeah, we are a bit short. Uh, either way, everything is on ultimate, obviously. As much as we can get. Oof, this is gonna be fun. Oh, well. Science needs to continue.
So in this title the TI actually pulled ahead by quite a margin. First of all we are getting actually above 60 frames, well we have 61 and we are over 8k limit we are actually hitting 10k so this is an absolute win. Well it is another Ubisoft title but in this one that's uh, a clear improvement. Uh, barely staggering 47 versus 60 frames. Uh, yep that's uh, 13 frames difference. And again, I would say this would offer much smoother experience if we don't play an ultimate, we actually are within the GPU memory bracket. So, so far, it's a draw. One loss, one win. Let's go for the next one. And obviously the next title is going to be Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Uh, pretty decent title, to be honest, one of the most flashiest ones before Cyberpunk came around. Uh, fun fact about Deus Ex, uh, required GPU as a recommended is 970, so same as for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So this is going to be a very interesting thing. Now first off, there's a quite a lot of, uh, I, I wouldn't say issues with the game, but some options in here just kills the GPUs. So one of the things is uh, temporal anti-aliasing, uh, 16 times texture filtering. Shadows and I do believe there was this one weird setting which was called I think it was hard shadows something Anyway, uh, we are running everything maxed out uh, The reason why I'm not running a preset is because then the vertical sync is automatically enabled with double buffering and I do not want that uh, Last time I tried to run this bench on 980 with these settings, it killed it. It literally, I think it was stuttering about 12 frames, but that's enough chit chat for now. Let's just go in and uh, see how we do. And these are the results, so <laughs> we are averaging out at 25 frames, uh, which is no surprise. I mean, all this flashy reflections, light sources, stuff like that, that is crazy how the GPU is just getting wrecked. But results are results, and I'm just noting them down on my piece of paper, because obviously I have nothing better to note it down. Let's go for the... For the sneaky way, instead of doing justice and saying it's 26 frames average, let's go for 25.9. We're doing science here, boys. Nothing else, nothing less. Well, 
let's move on. So here we are with the Dells X uh, 980 Ti. Obviously, we're gonna check out the settings and uh, same settings, everything maxed out. I did notice one interesting thing that I do believe might be the killing blow for these cards. First of all, MSAA is at four times. So for those who does know, that means multi-sampling and analyzing. So if this was at zero, we would actually probably see much better results with 980. But again, this is what the uh, Ultra Preset gives us. So who am I to, well, you know, kind of argue with that. Also, if we're going to see anything above 25.9 when it comes to the benchmark, I think tweaking the settings will actually give you this extra kick. So let's just go with it. So what we see here is 34.3, so it is actually a bit more than 25.9. Now what I'm wondering, and well, so this benchmark is very, very short, it's like two minutes. I want to see what would we get if we would actually turn this off and run the bench again without MSA will it actually change something that I think it will? Let's give it another go, shall we? And here we are. 55 frames right off the bat. I think we found uh, the killing feature. However, well, a bit adjusted settings. What can I say? But way better score than with 980, so... I would say this is pretty good improvement when it comes to this game, so let's just stick with it, shall we?
and here we are average is 66.2 now so again yes uh, MSA AA is a killing feature which probably might have given us a bit different result on 980 however there's so many things about Deus Ex when it comes to optimization and stuff that uh, it's kind of hard to pinpoint which ones actually impact your system the most uh, back in the day, I do believe when it uh, just launched, it was very buggy. It was kind of like Cyberpunk at some point. There's a lot of mods, a lot of optimization available for this game as a standalone. Uh, community is very, very, well, forthcoming for this game. So, yeah, uh, when it comes to 980 Ti, I must say, yes, uh, you can definitely squeeze out a bit more performance by dropping down, like, anti-analyzing from 16 to, like, 8 or even 4. And it will be playable, so technically... It's not bad. Obviously the game actually requires 970, so it only needs like 3.5 gigs to run, run, so... Anyway, science is done for this game, let's move on to The Witcher now. This is what I've been looking forward to. So of course we cannot just, uh, well, overlook Witcher 3. Now, I know that this uh, card actually is able to play it on 60 frames with some settings from Alter turned down a little bit, just a tiny notch. But, again, we're here for the maximum, so we are running on Ultra Preset, Vertical Sync is off, well, the maximum frames per second the game allows us to get is 60, uh, Full HD, and, well, that's pretty much all there is, so... Uh, what we're gonna do is just uh, continue the game, uh, take a look how it is, there's no benchmark inside this game, so we're kinda, well, on our own, but just a brief uh, look at the game itself, I think it should be good enough again i'm just gonna note down the give or take uh, rough average of the frames i do believe it's gonna be fluctuating below 60 and in my opinion 980 ti should get well constant 60 so we'll see how it goes and we have 52 why do i think we have a vertical sync somewhere sneakily enabling itself Mm-hmm. Let's find it. Let's find it. No, it's not. Interesting results. Oh well, it is what it is. Honest channel, honest reviews. So hmm. Fifty forty nine. I would say this is a very very honest contender on 50 frames 48 wooden area 44 43 ouch the gpu is utilized at 99 percent but it's only using 1.5 gigs of video memory so there is something going on here don't ask me what i'm not sure we should be using a bit more memory there's no lags, no stutters, game looks absolutely perfect, but, well, I guess all the volumetric fog, all the, kind of like the, the skybox, the greens, the shadows, every plant is casting is definitely giving us a hard time. So, I'm noting this down as, well, 45, 250. So, that's the target we need to beat. We're currently at 44 standing and there's some movement around. And looking at sky gives us over 60, so... Well, here we go. What can I say? The recommended uh, GPU for Witcher 3, by the way, is 770. Which is uh, literally two generations below this one. Uh, I would even kind of go for 4, because 970 is kind of... 960, 970 would be like the, the third gen. When it comes like seven uh, 770s, then... Well, it's not really... 8 series that would be worth mentioning to be completely honest but uh yeah and we're actually in low 40s now i guess we're gonna go for 40 to 45 might be might, it could be just the game itself to be completely fair so let me just quickly reload and we'll come back to this uh quick reload later still the same settings and i'm not really seeing improvements to be completely fair so we are kind of like 50 ish uh, I do believe it might be because of the hair works, but again, 
everything maxed out as it's supposed to be so what can I say game looks good runs fine but I do believe we're gonna get into some uh, fights it it will tank this uh, the GPU so I'm gonna leave my current score which is 40 to 45 and just leave some error of margin here yeah let's see how the TI version actually fares with this so Witcher 980 Ti uh, let's just double check if all the settings are still there video graphics everything's on ultra vertical sync is off full HD and well I think that's pretty much all there is let's continue on I expect no less than 60 frames at all times but with 980 it was kind of with 45 ish with running around so technically this TI should just blow it out of the water a bit surprising considering again the recommended the GPU was 770 but it was a beast back in the day as well. It was a recommended GPU for Battlefield 3 at the time. So, And here we are. So we are getting 60. Not too shabby. Let's go the same way we went. 99% of usage and we're using 1.5 gigs of RAM. So, I mean VRAM. So it's not that bad. Let's just uh, go back to something else a bit more requiring. A bit more power for science. Falling down is science as its own right. And yeah, I'm not seeing any frame drops though. So I think that was the missing thing. No, 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 boys, I don't wanna fight with you. Let's run away. Don't even look back. We have nothing to discuss with those guys. So as you can see, the Witcher 3, same settings as on 980. And we are actually, well, there was a little drop of below 60, but definitely much smoother experience. Well, I can't say it was lagging with 980, but still, we're seeing magic number 60 much more than we saw with 980. So that's definitely a win. So yeah, absolutely. If you are gonna max out and you will turn off the hair works by NVIDIA, I do believe you can actually boost that number as well. The game is frame locked on 60 frames though, like the maximum you can squeeze out of it. But uh, at this point, I would say if we get into a combat, this will not be an issue at any point. So this is a clear win for the TI version of 980, which makes a happy face. Let's continue on then. And here we are, 980 and Cyberpunk. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. So, what do we have? Let's go for graphics straight away. Everything is on ultra quick preset. Uh, texture quality high, nothing we can change about that. And, well, that's how it looks. Whatever I can max out, I max out, obviously. Again, no cheating allowed. We're here for the actual science. Uh, double check, vertical sync is off, full HD. Let's go. Continue on, see the actual... First time I'm launching this with 980, to be completely honest with you guys. So this is going to be a good surprise for me as well. And I hope it's going to be a good one. Okay, 30, 26, 25. Oh man, this is definitely not really playable. I do believe this is kind of what the, the poor PlayStation 4 owners and Xbox One owners are getting right now. Maybe the latest patch actually improved something good for them, but oh, this does not look well at all. I mean, in terms of looking, it looks fine, but 
Uh, GPU usage 99%, 3.7 gigs. Uh, so we're not even hitting the ceiling, but it's just the speed of the GPU itself is just dragging everything down. It's really a shame. Look at, uh, and if you look at the actual GPU frame time, it's 35 milliseconds. That's a lot. It's a lot in GPU world. Uh, the perfect number would be, I would say, well, everything below this. I, I would expect something like 15, maybe. That's like, you know, the last frontier I would want to go for. Uh, let's let let's give it a try. Can we can we actually drive this thing without crashing? Come on. Oh, I need to lean on the battery and wait for Takemura. Kinda allows me to go, but not really, right? Anyway, so we have uh, our average score and... <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the TI version will actually get out of this game. Uh, yeah, I'm... <laughs> this is reality. Recommended GPU for Cyberpunk is at least 1060, so I mean technically we're in the same ballpark, but not when it comes to video memory. However, we're not using the video memory. It might be the game engine itself restricting the usage because it detects the hardware. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put a big fat 30 frames uh, for 980 here and uh, I do believe, uh, again, this is all maxed out, right? Uh, if you tweak your settings to something like medium mix with low, you might get the better things like uh, all these reflections gets out of the way and all these uh, light effects. But again, we're looking the signs for if you want to upgrade to 980 Ti or you found one on the street, but you need to fight for it. Would it be a good choice? So, yeah, big fat 30 FPS for this game and on we go. So Cyberpunk, obviously TI should actually fare much better than 980. 980 managed to squeeze out 30 frames while doing absolutely nothing to be completely fair. So everything is still on ultra, whatever's done well, there's no vertical sync. That's all I care about. So let's continue on. Hopefully we're gonna end up in the same area as a last checkpoint and we'll see. Okay, so we do have <laughs> about uh, 10 frame improvement, which is uh, kind of fluctuating back and down. And we are actually using 4.4 gigs of video memory. GPU usage 98%. We are all on ultimate here. Well, the highest you can get, ultra ultimate. Still the same, but at least the frames are not 30 anymore. And looking at the sky, we are actually hitting like 52-ish, so that's not too bad. Definitely a bit more performance gain here uh, due to the faster core clock, probably. Again, I need to come back on my word for that one. And uh, again, if we would lower some of the settings, it definitely is playable. Don't forget this uh, game is bringing down a lot of cards, 2080 Ti included. So, just to see any kind of improvement which is above 30, which was almost kind of like frame look 30 as a console have. I think it's uh, definitely worth a shout out, so... Can't really say it's uh, not a good thing. Definitely worth it. Uh, frame time for the GPU again is uh, kind of the same-ish. Say 27. Would want to see it a bit lower, but hey. Who am I to say? So yeah. I must say, hey, win is a win. We're getting more frames, that's a win. And let's go to our last contender now. And obviously, well, <clears throat> uh, I must say, well, Warzone. Only, only one thing to say, and this is how it looks. 
And we're just gonna jump in a quick, uh, well, kind of like training match uh, just to take a look. So let's take a look at the graphics. They are a bit weird when it comes to scaling things and changing things in game. So let's just set up everything on uh, full HD as it is. Because this is, uh, of course, we're getting a warning about the video of RAM usage. We're all in the red because uh, it wants us to use, well, almost 4.8 gigs. And that is everything maxed out. Well, as much as I can possibly max out everything in this game. I'm not going to use streaming because I don't want uh, any files being streamed from the web while I'm playing. Because that would just kill the hard drive. Uh, either way, I mean, for now at least we're getting 60. So let's just uh, jump in. Well, I'm not even actually seeing. Well... Hmm. Right. You know what? Let's just take a look. What what can we actually get? There there should be like a training map to be honest for us. So, Blender trios. Yeah. The last update definitely changed some things here, and we are optimizing the shaders again for the gameplay. So I guess we just have to go for. Well. Ah, here we are. Practice runs. I knew it will never actually let me down. Yes, um, yeah, by the way, play play Warzone, get killed, get frustrated uh, because of uh, a lot of interesting things going there. Like uh, being tied to metas. If you don't have the best gun, you're gonna get killed anyway. So hey, let's take a look how it goes for us. Should be fine. Also, that's gonna be just a quick preview. I re I'm really bad at this game anyway, so... <laughs> Don't invite me, don't don't expect great things from me. I just wanna see how this plays out. Low frames on a plane is pretty expected to be completely fair. It's more that matters is on the ground. I've seen people playing this game uh, with 980 even on 40, 40p. And uh, it's not too bad. I mean, we're kinda... Uh, 60 ish so let's see what happens if we reach the ground level so we should be pretty close to our drop zone anyway and we have 24 bots to kill again this is not the full map but uh, again at least a little insight in case you're stuck with 980 and you want that uh, extra extra frames and you're wondering will the 980 ti give you that i don't know nobody knows Great start of the match. And here we go. So far we are kind of 60-ish, up to 70 even. So it's not entirely that bad. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much 60 frames to be honest. Up and down, but uh, again this is... It's a great thing when your animations just suck. And we're kind of, I, I, yeah, six, 60 should be the correct uh, thing to say. Also, some settings I would say we definitely need to turn down for this game. Uh, some of them actually are completely unnecessary to begin with. But uh, here we are, so... The science been done. So yeah, you can actually play this game, I would say, a bit lower settings than everything maxed out, but uh, you should be fine. So, 980, I'm, I'm putting 60, simple as. So, let's see how we fare with the TI now. So here we are, obviously, back with Warzone, and... I must say, again, I need to check all the settings. 
<laughs> quite obviously. So we are kind of a bit in the red, but to be honest, we shouldn't be because we have six gigs to play off and we need 4.8. So maybe this red is just to get our attention to some things. Everything is maxed out the same way as it was before. Uh, no streaming, obviously, for well obvious reasons. And well, that's pretty much all there is. Let's go and see how this actually will well improve our gameplay at any point. And I expect to have frames above 60, to be honest, because uh, so far we've seen pretty good improvements in very demanding titles. And uh, Call of Duty title is not really demanding. And for 2015 card, and it's uh, 2021, so six years. I mean, damn. I lot. I seen a lot of people playing with 980s. So, and they they managed to squeeze out 40 40p with this. Uh, I don't know what settings they use, but they say it's actually kind of playable, uh, which is a topic we can uh, talk about a lot. But uh, hey, so far the TI has won in Breakpoint, Deus Ex, uh, Witcher, and Cyberpunk. Obviously, not really by much, but a win is a win. So, also, we are getting already close to 90 frames here. Kind of 80-ish. So, I think it's, it's it's way better than with 980, to be honest. And I think the, the biggest issue was the video memory. Because uh, all the textures, all the map size, everything kind of needs to be stored in there. Uh, apart if you want to, well, kind of like sacrifice your RAM for it. Uh, let's just uh, drop down and see what happens, but we are already above 60, way above, we're like in 80s, so I would say this is pre pretty decent stuff. And oh yeah, we are in 90s, absolutely, absolutely perfect. Much smoother uh, gameplay to be completely fair, still running 1080p though. So it's not true. No, th th this is absolutely playable. Don't get me wrong, guys. For full HD, this is more than playable. This this is actually really good. Yeah, no, no complaints here. We're not under 60 or around 60. We are at a pretty much stable 80. Again, Call of Duty is not really a demanding title when it comes to it. But at certain points, I must say, specifically for first-person shooters, you want to get all the frames you can get without losing or sacrificing the quality of how the game looks. So this is absolutely perfect. Well, I can't say perfect, right? I mean, it's still full HD, so hey. Uh, kind of up to you how you're going to approach the game and if, uh, if this is enough for you. So I know a lot of people have a 4K monitor just now or even 2K. Uh, but again, th there's a lot of hacks and tweaks. I would say tweaks more than hacks on how to improve graphical fidelity or sharpness of the game so you can actually see the people in uh, longer distances. And... I must say this this is not bad at all. Absolutely much much, much better than I expected uh, when it comes to certain things but uh, here we are. Much more fluid uh, gameplay when it comes to this very fast paced battle royale title which apparently everybody actually is playing. So I don't know. So, the points for, uh, in comparison for 980 and 980 Ti, uh, is it worth upgrading? I would say it's worth upgrading only if you are getting a very good deal out of it. Because if you are just gonna, you know, expect to play new titles, like completely, you know, unbothered and they will just run fine, you might find yourself tuning the settings a bit more and if you are required to pay actual money for 
980 Ti, like, uh, I don't know, half a price or something, definitely consider that as a con rather than a plus, because to be completely fair, this is, this is not really a card that would hold very well with the new titles. As you've seen, it struggles with Cyberpunk and, well, kind of like Breakpoint as well. Uh, because the the benchmark of that game is kind of very very weird and uh, actual gameplay will differentiate from the benchmark results But if you just want to get current upgrade for I don't know something that is like I would say 960 level and you have a good deal on 9, 980 Ti That will actually you will feel the difference. I would say you will get about Again, 30 to 35, maybe in some games 40% difference or increase, but that's about it. Don't expect that you're going to be playing all the new titles maxed out and, you know, you're going to be just a happy gamer. With the money you will spend, I would say, keep, keep it in your pocket and just get something a bit more modern. So 1080 or 1070 is much better, much better investment, to be completely fair, specifically when it comes to newer titles. And everything else is kind of like uh, up to your personal preference, so that's pretty much all, that, that's kind of all there is for me, so come on, trying to get my point across here. So yeah, this is absolutely up to you guys. Uh, yes, there is a performance increase, yes, well, it does what it says on a tin, but uh, if you have a 980, going to 980 Ti is... Absolutely a waste of time and money. If you are sitting on something really ancient, uh, even before 960, let's say you're sitting on something like uh, 750 Ti and I don't know, there's a good deal on 980 Ti, yeah, sure, go for it. But uh, apart from that, uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, this concludes the big uh, benchmark test. I do believe this is the most comprehensive you might actually find. Which, again, is just my own opinion. Uh, there's definitely someone on YouTube who did more than I did. And uh, at the same time, thanks for watching. And as always, see you guys on the flip side. And stay classy.